Good day, my fellow blood brothers and sisters in arms. So recently I needed a new washing machine, a new regular household laundry appliance washing machine. And while some people may look at this as just that, a discarded, old, uh, no longer needed household appliance, to me, that's a blank canvas. We have unblemished flat metal surfaces on three sides it's nice and white, so whatever type of artwork we do is going to be visible and viewable. And I reached out to you to see what should we do with this beautiful canvas. And these were some of your recommendations. Well, ask and you shall receive. It's really as simple as that. Let's get this thing to the shooting range and get to work. It's super windy out here today. The wind is blowing off the chart. Yesterday we had the remnants of that big hurricane that was coming up the east coast come through and today we've got some beautiful sunny weather but the wind is unbelievable so it's going to be a little difficult to talk. I'll do my best to keep the noise to a minimum but I thought for times that we had to speak probably right here in the bunkhouse would be the best place to do it. So some of the ideas that you had were exactly the kind of ideas that I would expect um, some of them were way off the charts and some of those I really like. One thing that I wanted to try that I hadn't thought of previously was that uh, Air Force Air Guns Texan PCP air rifle. It is a .457 caliber uh, pre-charged pneumatic air rifle and uh, we tested it in a, in a few videos a couple years ago uh, but it certainly is worth bringing back out to the range again today. Let's see how that thing performs on a regular washing machine. Not very much resistance there. It's putting them in the same place. Let's go for the top left corner, then the top right corner. It's hard to tell if we're hitting the same spot. Might as well hit the other two corners. We're already here. Bottom left, then bottom right. Then let's have a look. Yeah, looks like a number five die. Let's go check it out. So as I'm examining the washing machine after we shot the Air Force Air Guns Texan to it, I lifted up the hood 
Couldn't believe what I saw. Let me show you. So not only are there holes in the front, but these rounds went right through the tub and out the back. Now I don't know about you, but I find that mighty impressive. I knew how much horsepower this thing had from the previous testing we did, but if you would have asked me, will a round go through a washing machine, through the tub, out the other side of the tub, and outside the washing machine, I think I would have probably put my money against it. But I'm glad I didn't have to. Now I'll know the answer is yes. Let's try something else. A fantastic idea that you came up with all on your own, and I'm so glad you did, the can cannon. Let's run some cans of Mountain Dew into the washing machine through the can cannon, and let's see how that performs. So let's see if everything comes together and I can actually hit that washing machine. My trouble has been shooting on a straight plane with this thing without them blowing up. So let's see if I can do this without getting soaked full of Mountain Dew first. Now it's not possible to bring an Uzi submachine gun, an original Israeli uh, bullet hose, to the range and have a broken washing machine and not see that the two of them meet. Let's try the Uzi, the Uzi submachine gun, 9mm. And one of my normal sidekicks at the range is the Patriot Ordnance Factory, the POF USA P416. And while I was moving things around in the back, I noticed an Egyptian Mahdi AK-47. Let's give that a whirl. The Air Force Texan 457, the Can Cannon, the Uzi, the P416, the AK-47. All that did is help us create one surface on this three-sided canvas. Take a look. This side is still clean as this side is still clean. Well, other than maybe one minor, we'll call it a blemish. So I don't think we're done with this project yet. I think that we keep it an ongoing project and we've got two other canvases. Probably one other canvas because when we turn it around, it's definitely going to wipe out the other side too. So we'll say we've got one good solid canvas day left. So give me some ideas, both in the comments here and on the Facebook group, uh, what we should use to uh, decorate the other canvas, and uh, we'll bring it out again. Today's probably not the best time to do that because ammo seems to be at a shortage everywhere in the country. It's very hard to find and it's very expensive, so probably not a good day to just pump thousands of rounds downrange on this project. We'll work on it a little bit later on and we'll work on it together. So I hope that you enjoyed this little trip to the range just for fun. I don't get a chance to do this anywhere as near often enough and I'm glad you joined me. If you did, please click like, share us with your friends in your vast social media universe, subscribe to the channel both on YouTube and on Full30 and make sure you hit notify so you know when we upload new videos. You can participate over on the Patreon site if you'd like to get these videos a little bit earlier than everyone else and if you just like to talk guns, probably Facebook is the best place to do that at facebook.com slash guntestvids. Till next time, have fun and be safe. Thank you.